feel like I've been on the limit for a while, but we certainly haven't gone over it. And in this scenario, I did go over the limit. 50 right times three half long. For us to win the Australian Rally Championship, I had to make sure that we won the event at the time, so I wanted to have a big push in that stage. It was a tough afternoon for the whole team, I think, because on one hand you had John and I out in the bush uh, having had a pretty big accident, and on the other side of the scenario you had Lewis and Anthony storming to their first Australian title together. Well done, mate. Yes, well done. We did it. Awesome job. Anthony and I crossed the finish line and literally the whole team, friends and family were there. These are very special moments in life and they're your most important people in life, so to, to share it with them at the end was really, really nice. That's something that Andy and I will now carry with us for the rest of our lives. Not far away now. Wow. It'll be good to get back in the car tomorrow. I haven't driven since Coffs Harbour. So, yeah, it's been a while. Might be a bit rusty. It's just seat time for me. I'm not planning on changing too much with the car or anything, just seat time. We've got a pretty good base set up for, from Tassie last year. Yeah, they've been a bit busy trying to get yours done <laughs> and mine, so. How we talk. All right, good to go. Let's go. I just really want to get comfortable in the car again. You know, it's been a while since I was in it. Um, so I just want to make sure that I feel dialed in, really in myself ahead of the season. I know the car's going to be good. All good. High five. When I found out John couldn't do this year, I rang her straight away. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Good, you. Yeah. And said, you're my first pick, so let me know. Oh, your driving suit's up there too. You should uh, go and try that. Oh, is it fit? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, right out. Cool. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. Really cool. I set out to go and do one rally with my dad. Um, and I thought at the time it was just, you know, it was an adventure. I didn't actually even consider that I might do more than just one rally. And that one event led, well, basically to a lifetime of involvement in the sport. It wasn't something I intended. I'm sort of really your accidental co-driver. When I first started rallying, I did a Queensland Championship round and I looked at the, the people that won that rally. Um, and it was, I still remember, it was Wayne Black and Dale Payne and they stood up there and I thought that was incredible, that, you know, how would it be to win a, a state championship? And then slowly, you know, things just evolve and you keep going on and then one day you win an Australian championship round and then one day you win an Australian championship. And I think I just kind of feel lucky, really, that, you know, I didn't intend all these things to happen, they just did. And, and sure, they happened because you put the effort in, um, but I think I was just very lucky with, um, the opportunities that came my way of the people that I've competed with and particularly you know for Neil and I the last 20 plus years and a very long-term relationship with Toyota which has been you know a huge part of our lives. I've seen what she succeeded over the years with my dad and have always been such a proud son when I've uh, you know been there sharing the podium with them and and seeing their achievements to, to now be doing that myself with Coral is is yeah, it's an unreal situation really. You sort of can't make this stuff up. Best birthday present ever, boys. In fairness, we haven't said happy birthday to each other yet, so. No, Sorry? I'd forgotten. Yeah. We haven't <laughs> even said happy birthday happy to each birthday. other. Happy birthday. Thanks. Oh, hug. We hit that hole. It was fine the first few yeah, runs, and then after cars dug it out, we hit it, ripped the steering wheel out of my hand, and we yeah. went straight on at the junction. Yeah. But it nearly sent us into the bush, so yeah. I just started going around yeah. it after that. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't even mark it on Recky. I no. thought, no, there's nothing there. Uh, car feels good. Yep. It was more, yeah, 
shake down and yeah. blow the cobwebs out. That's yeah. Sure it's not that relevant to Tassie, yeah. as you know, so it's just good to get your eye in. Tassie, I think, has a special place in most rally people's hearts. Launceston's an amazing place to come to for a rally. It's a, a great city, but what's even better are the forests around it and, and the roads that they offer. Pretty relaxed coming into the weekend. It almost feels like we got a monkey off our back last year and now we can just really relax and try and enjoy the weekend. I think it's going to be a tough weekend. There's plenty of fast drivers, plenty of fast cars, so I think it's going to be challenging and um, we're looking forward to it. Harry, I think, completely forgotten about last year and his new season. He's probably angrier than ever. He wants um, redemption, so he's going to be hard to keep off our backs, but we'll um, push as hard as we can and see how we go. So I finished second in last year's uh, championship. And my brother, car number one, he was champion. And the year before that, we finished the other way around. So the year before that, yeah. I won and he finished second. So it's a nice battle. Before I, did, yeah. before I went to bed last night, Lewis um, went over the video, made some changes. So just fixing up those changes. He just writes it nice and light on top of the note and I make the change. The co-driver's role is very multifaceted. I always say sometimes a bit like a mother to a driver, but the driver really needs to concentrate on the driving and then everything else that's peripheral usually falls into the, the co-driver's lap. Planning for recce is the big thing. If it's an event like it is here, where you have some roads that are common to previous years, then you will pick up and write out those notes from a previous year. Flat long crest. We had a jump maybe in, but I've taken that out. You don't yeah, want that in. Yeah, no. no. Uh, go 120. But all of that puzzle of putting it together is quite laborious and takes a lot of time. Left over 50 tightens five minus long. There's quite a few days in the schedules and putting together a log for the event, for the, for the, the complete team. But then I've spent also spent days just playing around with notes and maps and trying to work out what I'm doing. <laughs> Definitely trying to find his girlfriend. Good luck, girls. You too. Uh, 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 uh. Right, short four plus. It's a very long four right over 80. Movements half dot 20. Five left minus half long 200. It's my goal this year to, to get that championship back. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be quiet about that one. I certainly, you know, want to start off the season with a win and then try and get that campaign underway. Manifold. I think. Had to sort of limp out of the stage with very limited power and boost, but we found out that yeah, it was a, a exhaust manifold failure, so we will go no further today. It's tough to be honest. Tough start to the season. There's certainly some rallies to go where we can um, where we can catch up some points. What's going on? Leading time in this stage. 400 in the shift car. Yeah, can you unplug it? That one. Follow that one. This one? Yeah. What's up? I don't think it unplugged. 18, just one 6 right plus. Is that the front one? Follow 
that one. I want that one. Oh, I can't get it. Just get it to the end. What do you reckon we drop? 20, 30? But I told Anthony to disconnect the wrong one. The closest one was reverse lockout. It's hard to trace while you're driving and then just one there to go. So in. for the new sensor will you put the same voltage in? Yeah, I'll go and reset it. Yeah. This afternoon was really good. We went out and um, set a good time on South Retreat and managed to catch up to the lead again. And um, yeah, then just managed for the rest of the afternoon, found a nice rhythm with the car and um, yeah, relatively, well, no problems at all this afternoon. It all went smooth sailing and um, yeah, heat one winner, so very good. Yeah. So if you didn't lose 50 seconds this morning, it's probably close to a minute that you lost it. No, I reckon 50. 50. Yeah. <laughs> then you would have won today by nearly two minutes. Yeah. A minute 40, 80. Yeah, something like that. What did you do with side pressures before that? So I reckon I was way too high. I had no grip in it. Yeah, I had no grip in But I went pretty low. I went 26 at the start. Yeah, we were 27. Yeah. I came back at 31. Where did you check them just now? Or at the end? No, at the end. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I reckon it's too high. We need to go lower. I felt fine. I, I did lack confidence in the first one a little, but yeah. then sidling in that one I felt great. Yeah. And you know, that's the way it is, the times are the times. Yeah. So I drove well, particularly in sidling, I drove really well. And got spanked. Yep. Yep. You obviously had a pretty good stage. Yep. Had a bit of a crack. Yeah. I just, I just struggled at the end after the two kilometre straight. I struggled up the hill yeah, from there. Up, is it? Yeah, yeah it well, to more gripped up than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually hard to know how to drive that. It's that grip. I know. Yeah. I know. Because all my fours are four pluses and all my, yeah. yeah. But then there are still corners that can catch you out, like the four right in that has the bunting yeah, on the that's outside. A, that's a nasty corner.
crest 50 and then the turn two left plus. Is it more like a brow? Yeah, it's more like a brow. And it, I actually got reasonably light over the crest. So then when I hit the brakes, the rear stepped out straight away and I ended up carrying a slide all the way in. Yeah. So then I ended up taking too much apex because I should have straightened it up and probably lost a half a second and kept going rather than that, but anyway. But you know, really, if it hadn't damaged the things that it had on my engine, the car still felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah that was great. Right. There was nothing yeah. wrong with it. It was just the oh, intercooler oh, part. And you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> and, and about that much vision. So. Slide right 100. Track rest 80. Six left plus over finish 100. For six right minus half bottom 80. Four left plus. As a whole, I think, um, yeah, Anthony and I performed faultlessly this weekend and did exactly what we needed to do. Nice to um, keep the momentum going from last year and keep on building it into this weekend and um, getting that result in the championship leads. Very exciting. For more videos like this, click here. And to subscribe to the Toyota Australia YouTube channel, click here. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.